we'll learn about the trigonometric ratios for 45 degree angle. Now 45 degree angle is the most easiest one to calculate. For this we will draw an isosceles triangle first. You will get to know why we had drawn the isosceles triangle only here. Now if you look that we had a right angle at C and as a property of isosceles triangle say that two sides are equal so AC and BC are equal here. Let's mark these sides as A and A. So these are equal sides and we know very well that the sides or sorry the angles opposite to these sides must be equal. So we can say that angle B and angle A are equals to each other and since one angle is 90 degrees so these two angles sum will be 90 degrees and hence angle V angle B will come out to be 45 degrees. Now we can easily calculate the value of hypotenuse here. Hypotenuse is which side? The side which is opposite to the right angle. So hypotenuse will be AB and we can find the value of hypotenuse by using Pythagoras theorem. We can get AB square will be equals to BC square plus CA square. And let's find the value. So this will be A square plus A square. And if we calculate the value for AB, AB square will come 2A square. And if you take the under root, you will get root 2A. Root 2A. So this will be root 2A. Now since we had got all the values of all the sides of this right angle triangle, we can easily find all the trigonometric ratios. So can you tell me, we had taken this angle, so can you tell me which is adjacent and which is opposite? The, the side which is near to the angle given is adjacent, so BC will be our adjacent and AC will be opposite. Now we can easily find all the values, first value will be sine 45 degrees. Now can you tell me what will be sin 45 here? Remember Soka Toa. Soka Toa says that sin is opposite upon hypotenuse. So opposite here is AC and hypotenuse here is AB. So sin 45 will be opposite is AC and hypotenuse is AB. So if you put the values, AC is A and AB is root 2A. So this will be a upon root 2a, a will get cancelled and this will remain 1 by root 2. Now you can match from the table the value for sin 45 was 1 by root 2. Similarly we can find the value of cos 45, cos 45 is remembered Soka Toa, it is ka, ka means cos is adjacent upon hypotenuse. Adjacent here is BC and hypotenuse is AB. So cos 45 will be BC upon AB. Now again put the values BC is A and AB is root 2A. So again we will get 1 by root 2. This also match, matches with the table. Similarly, we can find the value of tan 45. Recall Soka Toa, it is Toa. Tan is opposite upon adjacent. So opposite is AC and adjacent is BC. So this will be AC upon BC or A upon A. If you cancel out, this we will get as 1. We can also find the value of tan 45 by dividing sin 45 and cos 45. Now find the value of cot 45. The value of cot 45 will be 
reciprocal of tan 45. So this comes out to be 1. Similarly, we can find the value of sec 45. Sec 45 is sec is reciprocal of cos. So we can do the reciprocal of 1 by root 2. So the value of sec 45 will be root 2. And similarly, we can find the value of cosec 45 as well. The value of cosec 45 will be the reciprocal of sin 45. The value of sin 45 is 1 by root 2. So we will get root 2 again. Now you can see that all the values exactly match with the values in the table. So this is how we proceed for the value of angle 45 degree for all the trigonometric ratios.